strong, okay? Like so I may not want to go around, okay? Or let's just say the guy's 320 pounds and I'm like this in the mount because he has a big belly. Okay? <laughs> that happens. I have guys in here that train their 300 pounds as big as AJ. Oh, he's 340. 340, 350. My knees don't even touch the ground when I'm in the full mount, okay? So it's really hard for me to cut angles on him. So a lot of times where I attack is the Americana. Hand on the wrist, hand on the elbow. I don't care if he tries to pull it back. There's nowhere to pull it back to, okay? I use all my body weight, and I flatten it right here. Okay, try to move your arm. Doesn't matter how strong he is now. Remember we talked about the magnet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I bring magnets closer together, it gets stronger, oh, yeah. right? So imagine there's a big magnet in his chest. There's a magnet in his elbow, right here. The closer his elbows get to his body, the stronger he is. The further out I get the magnet, the weaker he is, okay? So when I'm here, look how far out from his body he is. Try to pull your arm back, okay? My elbow blocks his face, my hand comes underneath and I grab my wrist, okay? Now I just want a chicken wing. Pull it in tight, and then slowly lift the elbow. If he's not tapping, let's just say the guy's super flexible. Look, can't get it. Pull it down even further, and then I get the tap. So I can adjust the Americana. Okay? 